I purchased these little sloths like five years ago to put in our cups and then we never had cups that they'd fit on. And finally, the Dollar Tree version, they fit on those. So we have our little sloth drink, drink markers and we pulled out the hats. Look at all the pep in our step at 11.50 p.m. We're a little tired, we were gone all day. Wow, look at these. Gone all day, played two games, been a busy week. I'm sleepy, we're almost there, six minutes. There you go. Hold yeah, on, I gotta time. pour my drink. <laughs> Please hold. Hey. Cheers, song. cheers, everybody, cheers. Cheers. You're so cheers, fine. cheers, cheers. Cheers, cheers. 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 Happy New Year. Ah. Everybody get in for the thumbnail. <laughs> Happy New Year! Cheers, wait. Eh? I gotta get my midnight kiss. What? I forgot about this. <laughs> I couldn't kiss him last year because I had COVID. <laughs> you did have COVID. Oh yeah. Hello, good morning. Happy 2022. Welcome to January 2022. It is the beginning of January. So we are at Walmart and I'm going to show you how you two can find accessible gluten-free vegan foods. Isaiah is with me, he's fixing his hair. So I'm about to get out in the rain and go to uh, Walmart. I'm gonna put on a hat. We're gonna have a good time. Where to find them without the milk? Here are the gluten-free Oreos. Some non-gluten-free Oreos for the regular people. Also, unhealthy obsession. This granola is delicious. Grab one of these. And one of these that doesn't look completely great. These are absolutely fantastic and they're gluten-free and vegan right on the front. I've never seen these before. These are dried cheese slices. Gluten-free. One down. Ingredients. There's colors in it. Oh. I don't know what I want that. <laughs> but these are fantastic. Definitely get those. Now these dried strawberries don't have any colors. And it still says gluten-free somewhere, does it? Does it say? Naturally gluten-free. All right. Uh, no wheat. Okay, that would work then. I'm gonna grab some mango and blueberries. I even have my favorite gluten-free flour here. Ladies. This is also where I get our accidentally vegan white chocolate chips. absolute best price on canned beans. I always stock up when I'm here. I love their seasoned black beans and I'm trying to find baked beans. And then the brown sugar hickory either in big cans or in the small cans. <laughs> and our favorite things. They have a really good price on Daya pizzas. I like this one a lot. Ours has this whole section of Gardein and even some Possible. And then over here, there's even the Beyond Breakfast Sausage, which is fantastic. And these are just fun. I'm gonna grab a couple of these. In, order of, in honor of the Tiny Chef, we will get some Mocket Mapples. And they even have one of my favorite vegan cheeses. And this is not gluten-free, but everyone else likes it. Okay, so part of our trip, we had planned on going to Aldi as well. But all these closed because it's New Year's Day, which I didn't know. So I'm so glad I drove 20 minutes to from my small town to another small town to go to Walmart and Aldi, and all these closed. But we can show you gluten-free vegan Taco Bell. So here's what we got. I got two of these um, black beans and rice containers. These are delicious. I really like those. And then I got a Baja Blast Zero, which is delicious. And then Isaiah got a 
three crunchy tacos pack, but he subbed refried beans for the meat in one, and then you can get it fresco style where it replaces the cheese with tomatoes. So it's, it's a protein, lettuce, and tomatoes. He did one he swapped for black beans, one he swapped for refried beans, and one he swapped for the potatoes. Usually we just get the black bean ones, um, but we thought, let's try all of them. So he's gonna eat his tacos here while I eat my beans and rice, and uh, he's gonna decide what he likes best. Hello from the kitchen. So for dinner tonight, I'm doing an easy dinner. It's one of my favorite easy dinners. We are making creamy garlic Parmesan pasta, gluten-free vegan style. Here's what you'll need. This is uh, some vegan butter, four tablespoons of vegan butter, some sort of neutral oil like olive or avocado, water, not chicken bouillon cubes. You don't have to use this. You could just use the water, but I like this. It makes it taste really nice. Uh, some sort of unsweetened, original flavored non-dairy milk. I like to cook with soy milk because it doesn't have a flavor. Uh, some minced garlic or regular garlic or garlic powder. 16 ounces of pasta. I like this brown rice spaghetti pasta. Salt and pepper. And then this is optional. You don't have to use it, but if you have vegan Parmesan, some vegan Parmesan. First thing you're gonna do is heat your oil in a pan over like medium-ish heat. Um, and once your oil's hot, you're gonna add four tablespoons of minced garlic. I know it sounds like a lot, but this is literally garlic Parmesan pasta. So lots of garlic. Three. Turns out my oil is not as hot as I thought it was, so these aren't really cooking yet, but just leave them in there. Cook them until they're starting to brown. Okay, my garlic has browned, and I've added all my pasta and my four tablespoons of butter. Now I'm gonna add in my four cups of water. Doo -doo -doo. And my two cups of soy milk. And I added in my two not chicken bouillon cubes. Now I'm gonna turn the heat up to high until it boils and I'm gonna add salt and pepper to taste. And you don't need to add a lot of salt because there's salt in the butter and in the bouillon. So like just a little bit of salt. Now that we're boiling, I'm going to loosely cover it, leaving a little space to vent and turn it down to like a medium low, like two on mine and keep an eye on it, make sure it's not sticking, um, and let it go for like 20 minutes or until your noodles are cooked. And here we are about 20 minutes later. Looks like this. It's getting very thick and creamy. I just tasted the noodles and they are pretty much done. So I've turned off the heat and I've taken off the lid and I'm gonna add in my Parmesan cheese. Again, that's optional, you do you. I'm gonna add about a cup. Um, I have two partial containers, so I'm just gonna add one partial container, and then some more of another partial container. It's about a cup. And then I'll just mix it all together. And I served it with some easy microwave green beans, steam in the bag, and here's our creamy garlic Parmesan pasta. Delicious!